<laughs> wait, 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 wait. What am I hearing? See? Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me tell you something. Hello everyone and welcome right here to my page. How are you doing? I hope you are doing good. Now today, I think some of you don't know I make political comments, but I think this one might actually be interesting. So I was on Instagram scrolling through and I saw a particular video on Sahara reporters and the way the video was titled, as you can see right now on your screen, I'm going to play it for you to see yourself because I would like to see what Nigerians or what I say my audience right here on Facebook think about the situation. Now I know recently, in case you don't know, Atiku has won the PDP's ticket and um, of course Peter Obi himself left the PDP and went to the Labour Party. <laughs> Wike himself actually showed us that <laughs> he has a strong stake on the PDP, which I think is quite interesting because for him to... But he's still an acting governor. I God. Nigeria is quite interesting. But later I'm gonna be discussing a couple of other things that I've seen happen in the political sphere, maybe in another video. But looking at this main video is about the APC's number one candidate of which people are really endorsing, the Jagaban himself. Oh my god, the man that I think they saw, is it a bullion van going to his residence? It has not been investigated till now. Um, hello, what is going on there? But anyway, so this video right now is on Sahara Reporters and the way it's titled is more of like he's struggling when he comes to the screening or him being screened to become a leader of the APC. Now I've watched a couple of videos online like this video right now you can see on your screen. That is why real estate is a job and financial. Uh, money creator in America. So, uh, in always wrong. Yeah. It's the same thing in London. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, Almost everything happens to that market. It shakes the whole yeah. market. That is why real estate is a job and financial. A money creator in America. So, uh, in all his own. It's the same thing in London. <laughs> so, uh, what's your, almost everything happens to that market. Did you just see what I just saw? Like, he was talking to a point, he paused. Ah, ah. Like, the ideas are not coming. Or, boots. Boots. I don't want peace. I want problems always. And then Oga had to help him to explain what he's trying to explain. If you are screening someone, now I know to a great extent when it comes to his popularity, come on, he's been endorsed by the Lagos state governor, Songwolu, and a couple of other people, okay? But when it comes to this screening thing like this, now this looks like something that is more of like a private affair. I'm just saying, I don't know if it's, this is actually screening, but I think they could also make it public for. But anyway, since it's just a party thing, so the party themselves gets to decide how that is done or something. But however, this video itself got out. You could see clearly from the video that, you know, it's as if he's being helped and all that. And uh, let me even go to the comments because, you know, Nigerians, they will just tear you pieces. Put their question person where they buy presidential form 100 million. Think about that for a moment. Who dares to question someone buying presidential form for 100 million? Wait, Tunde Bakari, our pastor, also bought the form for a hundred million. I don't know. Of course, I don't think Bakari would do better than this. I know that for a fact. But you see, like Atuki himself said, remember this particular statement Atuki Your himself made? How does this um, support, you know, uh, publicly uh, declared by um, um, Tambowal make you feel? Well, I feel actually encouraged and uh, quite inspiring. Uh, on the part of uh, Tambual, uh, of course, uh, is a political, you know, uh, ally, uh, though younger than I am, and we have been in politics together for quite some time. But it wasn't surprising anyway. Okay. Well, the big names. I mean, three names are coming to mind. Uh, that what one person may emerge from these big names later on tonight. Your name is there. A week his name is there, and of course, Bukola Saraki's name is there. What do you think your chances are of clinching the ticket of the party? Uh, for try to get clinch the ticket of the party for a second time. Well, I'm I'm optimistic. Very optimistic indeed. I mean, they have their own. Uh, you know, uh, strong points, uh, but I'm still optimistic. 
Okay, so when you talk about optimism, just one last question, sir. A lot of people thought that the PDP would have um, zoned this to the south is, and the PDP had to leave it open. I mean, do, do you think this increases your chances in any way? No, I think it has increased the chances of PDP, more of PDP than any individual. I mean, because um, opening up, you know, to all parts of the country uh, will also give us the opportunity to pick the best and also the most popular candidate. I mean, what you require in, in elections, uh, the candidate who is the most popular, who can attract you more votes and therefore win an election for you, I think that's the most important thing. So, of course, it's all about the attention. And remember, like I always tell you guys, if you have been watching me over time, attention is currency. So, Tinibu himself is quite popular when it comes to his take in the APC. Just like how Mwike himself is popular, even though, you know, he just wanted to show people that Omo Adeo. I don't know if Mwike is going to run as vice president with um, Atiku, but he's already, a, he's already a governor. So, what is going on? I mean, Nigerian politics is something I really think I think I need to really take a close look at, like I look at other things, so that I get to bring out some facts that maybe some things you should be listening to, but that you're not listening to. Someone now say that now on the next president be this, when I never see anything for Nigeria Walai. <laughs> oh my God, I'm looking for the comments that will be for you know his favor, so that we have a balanced opinion right here. But you can tell me what you think in the comments as well. Someone now say, last, last, they go allow him contest in the primaries, even after seeing this. How old is he again? So, <laughs> the comments are just enormous. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What am I hearing? See? Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me tell you something. Is it? Wait, wait. What did I just watch? What did I just watch? What did I just watch? Wait, wait. Okay, wait. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Ah! Can this happen in Africa? No. Can this happen in Nigeria? <laughs> where I go climb, oh, where I go climb, where, where I go climb, where? Which thing, where I go climb, hi? Oh, yeah, watch this video. There you have it. He didn't read the protocol, he hasn't read the bill, he doesn't know his stuff. And let's just get this straight for a minute, because I think it's important to take a step back. What the Prime Minister is coming to this House to tell us today is that his flagship achievement, the deal he told us was a triumph, the deal he said, as I said, that was oven ready, the deal on which he fought and won the general election is now contradictory and ambiguous. Madam Deputy Speaker, what incompetence, what failure of government, governance, and, and Madam, De Madam Deputy Speaker, how dare he try and blame everyone else? Can I say to the Prime Minister, this time he can't blame the right honourable member for Maidenhead, he can't blame John Major, he can't blame the judges, he can't blame the civil servants, he can't sack the Cabinet Secretary again. There's only one person responsible for it, and that's him. This is his deal, it's his mess, it's his failure. For the first time in his life, it's time to take responsibility. It's time to fess up. Either he wasn't straight with the country about the deal in the first place, or he didn't understand it. Because, Madam Deputy Speaker, a competent government would never have entered into a binding agreement with provisions it could not live with. And if such a government somehow missed the point but woke up later, it would have done what any competent business would do after it realises it can't live with the terms of a contract it would negotiate a way out in good faith. And that's why, Madam Deputy Speaker, this is also unnecessary. Because there is a mechanism designed for exactly this purpose in the protocol, in the agreement, the Joint Committee on the Northern Ireland Protocol. And then, and the Prime Minister tried to slip this in, I don't know whether the House noticed, there is an irony here, which is that, as if this wasn't enough, this bill, does precisely nothing to address the issue of the transport of food from Great Britain to Northern Ireland. It is about two issues where they're going to override international law. It's about exit declarations, Northern Ireland to GB, and the definition of state aid relating to Northern Ireland. Now, if the Prime Minister wants to tell us that there's another part of this bill that I haven't noticed that will deal with this supposed threat of the blockade, he can, I'll give way to him, I'll very happily give way to him and tell me, he can tell us, I'm sure he's read it, I'm sure he knows it, 
I'm sure he knows it in detail because he's a details man. Uh, uh, come on, come on, tell us what, 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 clause de- what clause protects the threat that he says he's worried about, about uh, GB to Northern Ireland exports. I give way to him. All of you, I can't remember, I can't give way unless he's asked to. There you have it. He didn't read the protocol, he hasn't read the bill, he doesn't know his stuff. Can you believe that that is the Prime Minister being talked to like that? Ha! Can you try that in Nigeria? All right, <laughs> but you can tell me what you think in the comments yourself because, of course, we can have opinions about this. And I hope to see you next time in my video. Be sure to share with a friend or something, and let's get to have the conversations in the comments. I love you guys a whole lot. See you next time in my video. Yeah.